What's going on, people? How you doing? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my channel. How to make a narcissist miserable? What are the things you can do? A narcissist is amusing to observe, exhausting to talk to, infuriating to work with, and toxic to death. It's perfectly natural to wonder how to make a narcissist miserable. Narcissists have been pressing your buttons for far too long. Now, I'm here in this video telling you how to make the narcissist miserable. How to outwit a narcissist. So the trick lies in using everything the narcissist hates to your advantage. It's time to turn the tables on the narcissist who's been making your life hell. Let's provoke the provoker and wound their precious pride to give you an extra edge on your mission. I have some insights, all right? Based on my research in this video, to talk to enlighten you about narcissistic tendencies and how to combat them. So, let's get started with this mission. Miserable, all right? Now, how do you treat a narcissist? It's essential to understand someone better before you go into revenge mode. So, who is a narcissist? A narcissist is an individual with an inflated sense of self who needs constant admiration. A narcissist can take any form of criticism. A narcissist carries a sense of entitlement and loves being in the limelight. You see why they are frustrating to be around? A brutal quote that I have I've come across says that there is no one or there is no I in team, but there are two in, in narcissists. There is no I in a team, but there are two in narcissists. Their vanity can be used to bring about their downfall. Outsmarting a narcissist is not that difficult. When you ask yourself, what is the weakness of a narcissist? Then you realize that outsmarting a narcissist is very easy. Now, what are the things to do to make a narcissist miserable? From ignoring the narcissist completely to being a happy little butterfly, there are many things you can do to outsmart a narcissist. It's easy to get under their skin. You are the best judge of which technique will work on the narcissist in your life. Think about their disposition and then decide what to do. Don't go around feeling guilty for this little devilish streak in you. They pretty much had it coming. So I'm going to resolve all your doubts as you listen to this video, as you watch this video. Go forth and conquer. Number one, how to checkmate a narcissist and make the narcissist miserable how to retweet how to outwit a narcissist and make the narcissist miserable number one not your circus not your clown narcissists thrive on attention they simply love basking in the adoration of their peers this comes from a need to be validated constantly i once counted the times a friend of mine used phrases like isn't that great or how cool am I? At dinner. Six times in one hour. Yes, you had it correct. The first thing to do is to stop entertaining them. You can make a narcissist panic by withdrawing the validation they desperately seek. Let them drop as many hints as they want. Let them brag away, but do not walk into the setup which leads to you complimenting them. A narcissist craves attention and most people just give in and appreciate them, but don't do that. Hold your ground and convey that no, you do not impress me. I will not fawn over you. This is bound to make a narcissist unhappy because they can't conceive why someone wouldn't, wouldn't like them. Number two way of, of checkmating a narcissist and making the narcissist miserable. How to outwit a narcissist. Number two thing is to say no. Narcissists can be quite persistent and charming. Consequently, they will always end up getting their way. They aren't used to people turning them down. And this is precisely why you should turn the narcissist down. The request can be big or small. Maybe even something as trivial as, can you hold my bag? Please say no. They'll firstly be a little stunned. Then they'll have trouble understanding why you will reject their demand. So if you are wondering how to confuse a narcissist, then... You have your answer. Say no and let them manage 
by themselves for once. You have to stop giving too much of yourself if you are in a relationship with a narcissist. You need to show that you are approaching them on equal footing. Stand up for yourself. Tell your narcissistic boss that you will not work during the weekend. And tell your narcissistic friend that you won't take her picture. This is the slyest way to checkmate a narcissist. Checkmate them. Or tweet that narcissist. Number three way to make the narcissist miserable is to make a narcissist panic by grounding them in reality. What are narcissists best at? at? Self-conceit. And how does self-conceit make them talk? Like they are untethered from reality. Countering their creative fantasies with hard facts is a good tactic. Narcissists need to be reminded that they, that what they say can be verified, that people won't just buy their stories. Your facts need to be presented with hostility. Just lay them out in a composed manner. A narcissist needs to know you're not stupid. You can make a narcissist fear you by showing them that you are knowledgeable. And if they try and feed you a half-baked story, then you can most certainly run a background check on it. A good fact check is always effective. In a way, it's quite similar to dealing with an alpha male. So, think straight and sharp. That's the fourth way of making a narcissist miserable. As I said earlier in this video, narcissists are charmers. It is very easy to get taken by them. If you want to know how to make a narcissist miserable, think critically at all costs. Be reasonable and don't let emotions distort your objectivity. If you fall under their spell, you'll end up validating them. This is how most people continue to be in an emotionally abusive relationship with narcissists. Consider this situation. Your narcissistic co-worker wants to take over a project you're handling. He comes over and begins complimenting you. Before everything else, can I just say how good that shirt looks on you? The narcissist says. He then mentions the project and talks about his desire to work on it. I've been wanting to do it forever and my background in the field will really help me. I'm the perfect fit for the project if you think I'm about it. So what do you do? Do you fall for the trap and hand over the project or do you critically analyze his suitability and intentions? Doing the latter is the key to outsmarting a narcissist. Tell him you recognize his achievement but you are going to keep this project because, well, because you want to. Number five way of checkmating a narcissist and how to make a narcissist miserable. Fortify yourself and use Ammo to checkmate a narcissist. Drawing boundaries is not enough. You have to enforce them too. If you want to make a narcissist unhappy, you have to show them that their actions have consequences. If they cross a boundary, be direct and call them out. Block them on social media or file an official complaint. Moreover, you have to quit seeking the approval. Instead of spreading yourself too thin, just draw boundaries. You have to protect yourself even if it means confronting them. Checkmate a narcissist by fortifying yourself emotionally. Once you stop being tolerant of their self-absorption, you will make a narcissist fear you. Confront them without beating around the bush for maximum effect. Number six, surprise. Surprise. That is your answer to how to make that narcissist miserable. How to checkmate that narcissist. How to outwit the narcissist. Losing control of situations is very narcissist. Is every narcissist's nightmare. They are a little bit of a control freak. They love things going their way because that enables them to always be on the self, in the spotlight. A good way to understand how to make a narcissist miserable is to spring the occasional surprise on them. It will serve as a reminder that you two are in control of things. If your narcissistic friend is supposed to have lunch with you, invite a few other friends without telling her. Surprise her or him. If your narcissistic uh, boyfriend thinks you're staying in for the night, have your friends come over for dinner suddenly. So surprise works. So spontaneity is the solution to how to confuse that narcissist. They won't have time to calibrate how they'll impress the company. Chances are they'll get flustered and awkward even if they don't show it. The expression of her will be priceless to observe. All right? It will be very priceless to observe. Number seven way is misery in losing. The most enjoyable experience that you might live through was to see that miserable lose, that miserable narcissist lose. Their face normally will grow red. 
they keep talking about unfairness. Since a narcissist self-image is far off from their real personality, they think they are champions at most things. Making them lose at something is a good way of telling them they are fallible, they can lose. What's that line from Game of Thrones? We all need to be mocked from time to time, lest we start to take ourselves too seriously. <coughs> so, the next time you want to learn how to make that narcissist miserable, hand them a defeat to remind them that they are mere mortals who can make mistakes. It will be fun for you and a lesson for them. Number eight, calling a narcissist out in public taps into the thing which scares them the most. People thinking badly of them. Public humiliation will be a lesson they'll remember for a while. Don't be afraid of sounding mean. Just do it. Make a narcissist panic by pointing out their errors in front of a group of people. And do this by calling obvious attention to them. They'll try to cover it up by backtracking. Or they'll admit their error reluctantly. But in both cases, a narcissist will get super conscious of the eyes on them. Besides the classic karma game, you can use phrases like, I didn't get that. Just repeat that bit for me. Or I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you just say? I think I heard you wrong. Can you hear the evil laughter playing in the background? Number nine, way and follow, block, and delete to smart that narcissist. If your situation permits it, completely cut off the narcissist from your life. This person can be an ex, a friend, an acquaintance, or a colleague. Block all channels of communication because you don't need their kind of egotistical negativity around you. And you can do this to make that narcissist miserable. Most of them are under the impression that they are everyone's favorite. When they find out you block them, they'll wonder, why doesn't, that, why, why doesn't she like me? The idea of someone not liking them will make a narcissist unhappy. Plus, blocking them will give you a lot of mental peace and stability. You can finally stop wondering how to respond to their gaslighting. You're probably thinking that this is a little insensitive, but actions have repercussions. They have brought this upon themselves by causing hurt to others. Good. I hope you've learned something from this video. If so, please say something in the comment section in this video. Please drop a word or two. Click on the like button if you also love this video. Share it as well. If you've not subscribed, subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and select the all option. Knowledge is power and learning is the superpower. I love you all to the moon and back. God bless you. Catch you later in the next video.